Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Geet, welcome to the channel. Today I wanna to talk to you about iOS shortcuts and how they interact with Todoist. I have been using Todoist for a while. It kinda is a little daunting every time I look at my Todoist if there are a lot of overdue tasks. But I still don't want that I do not go to the application and miss capturing something. For which I think I have an amazing solution. And the solution is to use an iOS shortcut that can be set up to enter multiple tasks at once where I can enter tasks into Todoist without actually going to Todoist. So let's create a shortcut where you can enter multiple tasks in shortcuts and that will be added to Todoist and then you can reorganize them whenever you have the time to or whenever you have a mental space to kind of jump into the application and look through everything that's pending, maybe on a review day. But let's get started. So open the shortcuts app. To create a new shortcut, we're gonna name it first. So click on the three dot in the middle and we're gonna name it as add tasks to do list. I don't like that color at all. So I'm gonna pick something like a blue, eh, red, maybe red works what to do is better. So let's keep it that way. And then I can add a, I can add an icon, but all of this doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put this check mark, kind of representation of what Todoist icon used to look like back in the day. Now you wanna create an action to ask for input and the input is gonna be taken as text. So search for an action called ask for input and drag that onto the main page of your shortcut. Once you have that, you can change the prompt to whatever you think is appropriate. In my case, I'm just gonna add add tasks. Let's take a decision together to make sure that we put one task in one line. We're gonna split the text that we just put in based on new lines. Now that we have split the text, the next action needs to be a loop. We want a loop that will run for every single line of text that we just put in. We're gonna add an action called repeat and we're gonna choose repeat with each and it's gonna repeat it for every single instance in that text. So now that we have that, we wanna put in a Todoist task inside a repeat function. So you can look for add Todoist item, and we're gonna put it here. In the add item, there's an option to add a variable. So we're gonna add the variable called repeat item. You can see it at the very bottom. It's available for you to pick from a list of variables. You wanna actually click on show more and make sure all the information that is in here is something that you want. So I'm gonna remove this file. I don't think there's a need for me to have this file. So I'm just gonna click on that and click on clear. So this way, nothing really gets added every time a new item is created. Let's run the task to make sure everything's working as we, uh, as we thought it would. So test one, test two. Now that we have two tasks, we can actually click on done and then that should go through the process and be added to Todoist. Let's go back to Todoist and go to the inbox project and you can see that test one and test two have been added. If you want a link to the shortcut, it will be linked in the description below, but I would like but I would like to warn you that sharing a shortcut with Todoist actions hasn't worked well in the past for me. For some reason, you need to add the Todoist action on your own in your shortcuts app. It doesn't even work when I move a shortcut from iPhone to an iPad with the same account and everything. So I would highly suggest that you just you just recreate this very simple shortcut rather than copying or importing it using a link. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you want more videos like these, I have a playlist for Siri Shortcuts video. You might wanna check that out. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, this is Geet.